to show you how to do Laurie's twisty bind off. Um, it's a brilliant one for um, doing with one by one ribbing um, because it's quite an easy one to actually do, but it gives it a little bit of stretch without being um, without the flare. So it's elastic edge, so it'll spring back into shape but not be tight. So it's, it's a great one if you want to do it on cuffs of sleeves or on, on sort of um, banding on cardigans or anything like that. So to do it, you, if you were starting with a knit stitch, then you just knit that stitch as normal. If you were purling, then you'd start on the purl one. So you knit that stitch, and then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the right-hand needle anti-clockwise around. So I'm going to come forward all the way around and back to centre. And that's moved the working yarn to the front into the purl position as well. So I then purl the next stitch and bind off as you would normally do and now I'm about to do a knit stitch so I'm going to rotate my right hand needle clockwise so I go all the way around back to centre and knit that next stitch and bind off as normal and you're just repeating that so purl I'm about to anti-clockwise the yarn's ready in the position to purl and then just Bind off as normal, clockwise. And the other thing is, is when you're doing any sort of knitted bind off, you want to be slightly looser than your normal knitting tension because you need a little bit more because the stitch is traveling further to do the bind off. So if you did kept it the same tension, you're gonna to be too tight. It's gonna restrict that edge. So what I tend to do is when I knit my stitch is just pull it slightly to the right. So it's there's a little bit of a gap between the needle and the base of the stitch and it just gives you enough stretch um, without being excessive. So you just keep repeating that and then just uh, finish it as you would do a normal knitted bind off. So this is the bind off when finished. You can see with the one by one it gives a zigzag sort of effect. There's no flare but it does stretch quite a long way and then it, and it's elastic enough to spring back into shape. So it uh, gives a nice finish.